Um, I remember a story about uh, a lady that lived down near Monterey in a little place called Parched Corn. And uh, she had an old banjo hanging on the wall. And, uh, of course, I noticed this and asked her about it. And Rena Whitaker was her name. And uh, when I mentioned the old banjo covered with dust, uh, her eyes brightened and she be started to uh, tell me about it. And she said, when, when me and my uh, man got married, uh, we were spent the days clearing the land, planting corn. But late in the afternoon, we'd sit on the porch and sing. And uh, one day she said that... Uh, her husband said, "You know, if we had a banjo, we could uh, we could we could make we could do better singing, and make better music." So the next morning he went down to the corn patch, and uh, groundhogs tend to come out early in the morning, and kill the groundhog, put it in the ground, buried it, put wood ashes on it, and worked the hide and uh, for several. Uh, several days actually and then got the hair off and uh, cut a little poplar tree to make the uh, the neck and uh, made us a banjo and she said we said law at the good times we would have sitting on the porch and uh, playing the banjo and singing late in the afternoon so there's so many stories uh, similar to that by the way that particular banjo uh, when they were doing an exhibit in the hall of fame in uh, Nashville, the Country Music Hall of Fame, um, I let them borrow that banjo, and uh, I had a picture of her playing it. And they told me at one time that the two most popular items in the Country Music Hall of Fame, people coming from all over the world, uh, number one was Elvis Presley's Cadillac, and the second was... Uh, Rena Whitaker's banjo made out of a groundhog hide. So uh, it did illustrate the uh, ingenuity and the self-sufficiency of the people.